What's up guys? Thanks for watching. So this is Monday's training. This is the first workout of the day. And I started off with the Team Stone warm-up. Those of you that don't know what that is, I'm thinking about making a video on it pretty soon. It's a list of exercises that I do every single day, sometimes two or three times a day. It takes about 10 minutes to do if you do it with no breaks. Um, it can be broken up into pieces, but the reason why I have I made this exercise routine is uh, when I was getting ready for the Arnold Classic, I uh, I blew out two of uh, the disc in my back, getting ready for the Arnold Classic, and uh, I use these exercises to help help me be able to walk with those uh, ruptured disc, and as well as uh, train my body to move the right way, to minimize pain so I can uh, ultimately heal, heal those vertebrae. You know, so now, you know, the vertebrae were ruptured, and now they're healed. So I think a lot of that is uh, staying consistent on, on the exercises, I call it the Team Stone warm-up. Anybody wants to know what that is, let me know and I'd be happy to show you. So, let's get to the workout. So, as you can see, it started off with some dumbbell press. Um, did a low incline. No, I take that back. I did a low decline. Very low decline. Like maybe an inch, inch and a half. Just enough to make it a decline. I did a three sets to form failure. I think my first one was 19 or something like that. Um, after the dumbbells, I went to the seal rows, did some anchor rows. So here I have 225 free weight and 50 pounds for an anchor. Now, as you can see, uh, when I'm doing the rows, there's a couple inches before that slack takes out and that anchor yanks. Now, I think these are great for arm wrestling, you know, especially because they overload the end range of the motion where uh, your elbow is mostly bent. But also, if you look at this weight, when I go pull it up, it's not still, you know, it's shaking. Um, I have to stabilize it. It's a lot on the grip. It's only a 275 total. But with that little shake, that little shimmy from the 50 pound weights, it really wants to rip it out of your hands. Um, also, that yank of the strap, it's creating a lot of stimulus for those tendons, you know, going from a load to a, a bigger load faster, you know, it's making a lot of stimulus, it's, it's uh, really hitting those tendons hard, and that's what I want. Now, as you can see... I'm laughing to myself. I'm pretty sore, you know, which is to be expected, you know. I arm wrestled uh, th three times last week plus regular lifting. That's good. That's the plan right now. So this is how I like to do my jumping push-ups. Um, I like to do... I usually do... Depend, uh, I think today I did five sets of three. I usually stay at three reps. When, I, when I'm doing explosive push-ups, explosive reps, I usually stay one to three reps. Really focus on those reps. Make them violent. Make them explosive. Make them clean. Um, and that's how I like to do the jump push-ups. It's a lot of force on the elbows, a lot of force on the pecs, a lot of force on your hands because I got that little mat. It's not really doing anything, you know, compared to the concrete. Now, these were fun in a, in a messed up way. Arm wrestling style pull-ups. Now, anybody that says uh, you're doing these wrong is one, not an arm wrestler. Two... Forgot to ask the most important question when training someone or even 
trying to uh, get a little more information about them. First off, is why is that person doing that exercise? Everybody should ask that person, why is that person doing that exercise? You don't know what they're training for. See, right now I'm an arm wrestler, so I do a bunch of this weird stuff. Right now I'm just twisting a towel. You know what I mean? I have a towel around my arm and I'm twisting it. Looks a little weird. But why am I doing that? It's because I'm an arm wrestler right now. And I need to be able to pronate my hand as more than the other guy. Well, that's good. Now, let's go back to the workout. Got a little sidetracked. Started talking to the uh, the old haters. Well, it's good. The haters are good. They try to be bad. But they always help. And I appreciate them. You know, they're always there for when I need them. So, after those uh, pronation, pronation curls... I did some overhead triceps. Now I've been I've been liking these a lot. You know, uh, I like to do them with the cable because I can keep the tension on the the elbow for the full range of motion. I've also uh, liked using a towel. You can, it's good for the grip, good for the pinkies. It really hits the pinkies a little hard, and it's just a little longer than the rope. You know, you can do a little more. I got more room. So I did here, I did three sets of max reps. So I think I did my first set with 70, then 90, and then back to 70. So here I'm doing some face pulls. Uh, first way, just grab a different grip. So the first way it was pinky grip. It puts a little, you know, a little different angle on the back, but also it's a little harder for the pinky. Second way I went pointer finger, a little different angle. Here you can see uh, I'm very sore, and the only thing I could do is just laugh at myself because I was, uh, let's just say, pretty tender <laughs> before this workout, let alone almost through it. But it's good. These felt good. So I am using a little bit of body language to get the weight down. But well, that's what I'm trying to do. You know, I'm trying to put the momentum through my wrist. So as I drop down, you see, it may be hard to see on this side, but as I drop down, my body moves and I carry all that power through my hands. Now what I'm doing is I have three sets of 20 reps each arm, I'm trying to keep the break as minimal as possible. Right now my break is just long enough for me to stop crying. <laughs> Which is too long. It's too long of a break. So here I am. I'm stalling. I'm stalling. I gotta stop stalling and get back to work. What are you doing, Nick? Get back to work. Don't tell me to wait. Don't tell me to wait. Get back to work. There we go. It's about time. It's about time, Nick. Get to it. Get to it, Nick. There we go. There we go. It's about time. Good. I think I got one hand left because I think I started on the left. Make sure I got a little, got a little sweat in the hands. I dried off. So I like this angle on the wrist curls, the high cable pulling in, because it kind of uh, simulates the effect of uh, crushing down on your opponent. You know, so when you kind of bend your wrist, your wrist goes down, they get turned under. It's a good day for you, a bad day for them. And now I finish my workout with a couple sets of uh, two minute modified push ups. Just to get some blood moving around, get some blood in the elbows, 
you know, it was a pretty brutal workout, so I just wanted to get a little extra blood moving around. Felt good. Good pec pump, good uh, tricep pump. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, keep training hard, and I'll see you around.